Hope you had a great weekend and welcome back to DT Daily. I'm Casey Montoya. Kicking off the week, the FBI will shut off internet access for 250,000 infected computers today. A super fast camera is used to detect cancer cells. NASA shoots a panorama view of Mars. A man takes his virtual girlfriend on an augmented reality walk. Apple dumps its green certifications and more. The FBI followed through on its promise to shut down servers used to limit the spread of a virus called DNS Changer. Any computer still infected with DNS Changer had to use that server to connect to the web. Despite fears tens of thousands of web users would lose access, many global internet service providers are keeping their customers online. To find out if your machine is infected, visit dcwg.org for how to remove the virus. A team at UCLA has modified the world's fastest camera to detect breast cancer cells in blood, which were previously nearly impossible to detect. The modified camera can detect cancerous cells so well it only makes a mistake one out of every million cells. That's a record low. Thanks to the researchers' work, the superfast camera may one day be modified to monitor water quality and check for drugs in urine, among many other things. Bloomberg reports Samsung is planning a tablet based on Windows RT this October. If true, it's one of the only few companies willing to duke it out with Microsoft's recently announced Surface tablets, which also run a tablet-optimized version of Windows 8. We'll keep you updated as more details become available. NASA's Mars rover has sent back a new panoramic shot of the red planet, which shows what the area around the landing site looks like. The new shot commemorates the rover's 3,000th day on Mars and NASA's 15th year activity exploring our neighboring planet. In recognition that its new MacBook Pro and upcoming products do not meet environmental standards, Apple has withdrawn its 39 products from EP, or the Electronic Product Environmental Assessment Tool. That's a U.S. rating organization that checks to make sure PCs and displays conserve energy, are easy to disassemble for recycling, and follow other guidelines. Apple has not commented on the matter. In a turn for the strange, a Japanese hacker has created a pair of homemade augmented reality glasses that's allowing him to take virtual girlfriends on dates. Using the glasses, he can view animated people in real-world locations like the park. The first girl he chose is digitally created character Hatsunai Miku, who's a popular computer-generated singer in Japan. Nokia's once defunct mobile operating system, Migo, is making a triumphant return. The OS, dropped in favor of Windows Phone, has been rejuvenated by a Finnish startup called Jala. It was started by a team of ex-Nokia engineers. Jala's version of Migo will debut later this year. Leaked notes in the forthcoming App Store for iOS 6 show Twitter is planning a major upgrade in the next version of its iPhone app. Changes include notification enhancements, better performance, and more dynamic tweets. There's no release date for the new Twitter app for iPhone, but it may arrive with the iOS 6, which comes out this fall. That's it for today. Check back with Digital Trends later for our review of the NCAA Football 13. Mazda will soon begin to lease electric cars and our exclusive interviews with both Stan Lee and Bruce Campbell.